apparently you're as famous as I am. In, in Mumbai, <laughs> you are. As, I'm not famous in Mumbai, but, but, but you are. We've got a big audience Almost in Mumbai famous. this morning. <laughs> uh, the film was Kites. Mm -hmm. uh, the sunglasses are because this man was out very, very late last night. 35 I hours of no sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all worth it, I hope. Yeah, we think, we, think it will be, we think it will be worth it. And because this is the film that they say will bring Bollywood to Hollywood, and it, it, it's, it's been westernized. Tell us about it. Well, you know, as human beings, we love to attach labels and we love to segregate and we love to, uh, you know, be divisive and sense, uh, it gives us a stronger sense of belonging, you know, if, if uh, we're separate from some, some, somebody else. I don't see it as Bollywood and Hollywood. Yeah. You know, but you've got two versions of this, haven't you? You've got the Indian version and you've got the uh, English version. Right, yeah. You know, I, I think every creative work has, you know, uh, a potential to find its own level and its own audience. Uh, whatever's happened is, has been such a natural progression of uh, the attempt of making an honest film. And I think that is something that eventually uh, gives the film uh, strength to be presented at, on a global platform, you know, because it's honest, it's a human story. Okay. It's not catering to, to, uh, to an, you know, a, a particular uh, audience that we have been comfortable with, you know. Uh, and what as, is that story? Life. What's the basic plot of this? Well, it's a love story. Uh, it's... Um, it's a really simple, sweet, uh, straightforward, honest love story about uh, two people who, who don't uh, have a common language and yet fall in love, and, uh, which is what I think makes it a universal uh, you know, phenomenon that uh, talks you about... you filmed a lot of it in South America as well. We filmed uh, beautiful places. We filmed in New Mexico, in Santa Fe, mm -hmm. uh, L.A., Las Vegas, the Maldives, and back in Mumbai. Yeah. It's been a fantastic journey. Now, just before we continue, and I'm glad you took your sunglasses off because our production assistant has just said in my ear, oh, nice eyes. Oh, there's no le they are your own. There's no lenses in there, anything. They're my own. They're my yeah. own. <laughs> nice eyes. Let's have more of those nice eyes. This is why he is a film star, and this was the premiere in uh, Leicester Square last night. This is a merging of two worlds, Bollywood with a hint of Hollywood. It is an attempt to bring Indian film to a global audience. And it seems to be working with a premiere in Leicester Square that's followed one in New York. Indian superstar Rifkit Roshan is the male lead. It's great, I feel very special and blessed and... Uh... Very really thankful that uh, I had the opportunity. It is a story with international flavours. An Indian man and a Mexican woman meet in Las Vegas and end up in a jaunt across the desert. The film was cut in both Hindi and English. For an international audience, the trademark song and dance routines are replaced in an often steamier version. I don't understand what you're saying. You kiss me. You don't like it? Hollywood action director Brett Ratner was brought in to work his magic. I saw the Indian version and I said, what would you do to the American to make it shorter in the United States? I said, well, I would make it shorter, I would change the music. And they said, will you do that? I'm like, okay. So that's how I got to become part of it. And that's made it the most widely anticipated Asian film to date. I think this film is definitely going to turn Bollywood into Hollywood. It's got everything in it. It's got the music, it's got the dance, it's got the action, it's got the love story in it. So you've got, a, you've got lots of things that you want to watch in this film. Shown in 60 countries, never before has an Indian production had such a wide release. Amy Lewis, Sky News. Big hopes for this, Ritik. Good luck uh, with it. Would you just say hello to Navi Call, who's watching in Wolverhampton? You can just wave to that cat that with the red light there. Navi, hi. Navi. Hello. She tweets. She's tweeted as well. Charlotte's got loads of tweets. Yeah, we've had loads of questions actually. Susanna oh. McGregor wants to know: Have you had Hollywood offers? Are we going to see you in sort of Hollywood-type films from now on? Um, I just, you know, I I look for a script that reflects some something inside of me, and uh, if uh, that happens to be a Hollywood film, then then it will be. Uh, if it happens to be a Chinese film, it, it just might be Chinese. <laughs> you know? It doesn't matter. Uh, um, I have been uh, getting a few offers and, um, well, let's just see. You know, I'm just following my, my, my path through that magical light that I can see. And, uh, you know, my films just become my stepping stones towards that. And uh, <clears throat> so far it's been a great journey and uh, I just have to keep following my heart and see where I land up.